Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're going to be doing up Oktoberfest pizzas on the Yoder's YS640 pellet cooker. Enjoy. Alright, well, Doctoberfest is up and running. Thank you for everybody who's uh, chimed into it already. Again, got you in that playlist there. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, having a fun time for that. So, if you're doing a Doctoberfest video, make sure you hashtag it Doctoberfest. So, what's going on in these pizzas? Well, I'm pretty excited here. I found this flatbread up at the store. So, we're going to use those as our base. We're going to use some bratwurst, of course. The cheeses I went with today, I went with Cheddar Jack and Parmesan. We're also going to have sauerkraut. We're going to use a beer. We're going to boil these uh, brats in beer for a little bit, a little mix of beer and sauerkraut. Uh, caraway seeds. Don't know what these are. Never even heard of them before. They smell kind of kind of funky, but we're going to throw them on there. And for the base, we're not using a sauce. We're actually going to use day-old mashed potatoes. So let's get the Yoder's Y640 pellet cooker fired up here. Still have to figure out what type of pellets I'm going to use out of the pellet can of fame. Well, decisions, decisions. I think for these guys I'm going to go with the Dr. Taste Good mix of hickory and oak. There we go. That should get us started. All right, let's fire up. So we're cooking an uh, open flame at the start here. We're gonna kind of go back and forth. I'm actually gonna set it up at 500. We're just gonna get it ripping. Yeah, she goes to 600. But I found that 500's the money spot. All right, while the smoker warms up, one thing we can do, we can cut these guys in half here. So I'm not going to go full. I'm making little individual individual pieces with them. As you can see, we'll just square them up. Blue blue, trying to jump all around us. But we'll just eyeball that about center. And go through like so. Right, so we're back over to the multi-purpose pellet can. Just pop the top. Then over to the Yoder we get. Alright, so heated up the lodge here. Oh, that's like a little too much. Get that beer in there. Get some sauerkraut in. Which looks like I may have to add some more beer. There we go. So we'll bring that up to a boil here and pop the brats in. All right, so I did go ahead and add another beer uh, in there. So we'll give these these broths a little bath before we'll finish them off on the smoke. Maybe about ten minutes or so in this beer kraut bath. All right, flip them once. Then we're gonna actually, this is the kraut, we're actually gonna use this 
for our topping too. So it'll be nice and soaked. If there's any liquid left over, we're gonna drain that off, throw a little butter in and, and finish that off too. So we'll close the lid, we'll be back in about five minutes. Let's flip these guys over here. So I turned it down a bit, I was getting a little, a little crazy there. Oh, there we go. That's kind of what we're looking for. So what I'm going to do here, and I'll just double time this, so I'll just explain what I'm doing here. So I'm going to pop this guy in, we're going to take these guys out, and if you still got some crowd on them, that's okay. But I've turned the heat down to 350. We're just getting these guys out of the way up here. I'm going to drain off the rest of this. And we'll put this back in and just let the crowd do its thing. Time for a flip. There we go. We got some nice color on those guys. For about another 10 more minutes or so. Our props should be good to go. Oh yeah, baby. Look at those beauties. Alright, we'll pop these guys in. We're gonna build some pizzas. So I'm gonna build one of these for you guys, and I'll just fast forward through the rest. So we have these guys, we're just gonna Cut them up into some chunks here. And this should give me a couple pizzas. Just throw this out to the side. So we're going to start with the mashed potatoes. So I went with a garlic mashed potato. Thought it would be good for that. And again, no sauce. Just going with this. Is it going to taste good? I don't know. Next we're going to put some bread on there. Space them out a little bit. That works. And for cheese today I am going with Cheddar Jack. Why? Thought I had a nice little color contrast. That worked good on these guys. Now I'm only doing two of these with the sauerkraut. Nobody else in the house was feeling it. I'm just going to put a little parm. There you go, boom. Alright, we'll just fast forward through the rest of this here. And I will see you back over on the yoder.
So I debated whether to go open flame or not. I decided against it. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually rotate these guys. I have the Y640 set at 400 degrees. I'm thinking this is going to take about 15 minutes. And I'm going to rotate every 5 minutes. So we'll get these babies on here. Looking beautiful. So we're five minutes in, time for a little rotation. And I forgot to put these uh, seeds on there. We'll do a little light dust. Don't have a hot glove. All right. I think I'm not gonna rotate. You know what? I am not going to rotate. Just get them go, check me another five. Even cooking with the Odor's YS640 pellet smoker. 15 minutes in, we should be good to go. Again, no rotation whatsoever. Cheese is nice and melted. Can you hear that? Nice and crisp on the bottom. Beautiful. We're going to chuck this up to a win. So these are still hot as hell, but I get a live stream in about 25 minutes. So let's take a look at them here. So let me show you a full version. I've already cut one. They look absolutely fantastic. You see the bottom there? Yeah, they got a little crispy. Listen to that. So I've already cut one here. You can see that one. And these look fantastic. I'm going to take a little bite. This guy right here. See how we did. Hear that crunch? Mmm. Mm, just gonna take a little thing. Probably overcook the sauerkraut, but really deadens the taste of it. Which is kind of a good thing. Disclaimer, I'm not a huge sauerkraut fan. That was good. I'll take one more here. Just again, listen to this bread crunch. That's some good stuff. Really impressed with this flatbread. And of course, I mean, bratwurst is bratwurst. I'd love that stuff. Sauerkraut, the cheese. This thing just explodes in your mouth. Hey, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like. I will put a subscribe icon for you right there. I'll put that Doctoberfest playlist right about there. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.